Welcome back to The Jump. I am just always so thrilled when the legend Sue Bird stops by the show. Sue, you have become one of the heroes we need during this quarantine. You and your partner, the soccer goddess, Megan Rapino, have been doing these wind downs on Instagram, and they are amazing. We have gotten to hear you sing, yeah. tell stories, including the one about the time that Megan barfed into a plant when she was trying to keep up drinking with you and Diana Taurasi. Well, I was trying to keep up with you and Dee. That was a disaster. Big I didn't know. <clears throat> I'm just gonna say this right know. now for everyone that doesn't know. You can't drink with UConn players. It's like, it's something about how they recruit us. It's like in our DNA. I don't know what it is. I didn't know that. No, now you do. This has been incredible. Yeah, you know, just uh, giving the people <laughs> the content they, they never knew they needed every Saturday night. That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> what made you want to connect with people like that during this time? Honestly, pretty quickly, we, we wanted to think of ways to help give back. And obviously you can do that in multiple ways with like local businesses. And then we're like, well, what's like a fun way to take people's mind off what's happening? And even if it's just for like one hour, you know, one night a week, and then we started to get a little more creative with it as we've gone, so. <laughs> I love it. Megan is clearly one of the most capable humans, best athletes on the planet, and yet she could not keep up drinking with you and Diana Taurasi, which I appreciate. Yeah, you know, I always tell her she's little. It's sometimes <laughs> it's just, she's a, she's a smaller person, you know, it happens. <laughs> know your limitations. Yeah, know your limitations. You there. guys are at your apartment in Connecticut, which means no driveway, which means no hoop. What is it like? to be stuck without anywhere to shoot for so long. Has you ever had a stretch like this in your life? No, I haven't. A hundred percent. No. Um, it's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's awkward. I think we're all kind of in the same boat as everybody right now. We're just trying to make do, make it work. Um, I do actually do a lot of basketball. I get the ball in my hands, go to like an open space and use that home court app where you can do like all these different ball handling drills. Um, but yeah, no hoop is, is weird. I, I need to go find a, a friend with a hoop somewhere. <laughs> I gotta go. Home. People of Connecticut, if Sue Bird <laughs> knocks on your door, she will keep a respectful six to eight foot distance, but she just might want to use the driveway. Let me get some jump shots up. Uh, the WNB season is like the NBA season. It's been indefinitely postponed. And there are some scenarios where the WNBA just doesn't have a season at all this year. How jarring has that realization been for you? Yeah, I mean, I try to take it with, uh, I don't know, just understanding that obviously there's a lot you know, more happening in our world right now that is bigger than sports. Um, but then, of course, I have my moments where I'm like, well, this is how it impacts me. And mm -hmm. in that moment, I'm like, whoa, that would be wild not to have a season. And you have been also planning to compete in the Tokyo Olympics this summer. It would have been your fifth. The games have now been postponed to next summer. You will be 40 years old. Would you still want to go to the Olympics? Do you think the people at USA Basketball are going to be scared off by that 4-0 number? No, no I got to admit, it's, so, it's interesting because my birthday is just late. Like I'm born in October. So I'm in the year to be 40. I would have been in that year this summer, but I didn't, I wasn't going to, you know, quite be there. I was still going to have that three, which I was holding <laughs> on to, but you know, it's a year from now. It's another year of, you know, wear and tear on your body. It's another year of anything can happen, especially with an older player. I'm totally aware of that. You know, when the day comes, I think we'll all know, right? Like USA basketball will know if I'm good enough. And you know, the, I guess the, the, the eye test will know if I'm good enough as well. So we'll see. <laughs> it is interesting, though, because the shutdown affects older players differently. If you lose yeah. a year of your career at 24 years old, it's not fun. But then there's age 25. When you're Sue Bird or Carmelo Anthony or LeBron James, this shutdown could be robbing you of something you potentially might not get back, right? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Like I said, an added year. You know, even I think back one year ago, and I was a totally different person body wise, you know? So it's like, as you go, and it's, they always say you can't beat father time. I always joke back, like, I'm actually not trying to beat him. I'm just trying to tie. Like if I could just stay how I am for like a little bit longer, hold on a little bit longer. All I can say is if you keep drinking that wine on Saturday nights during the Instagram, that will help preserve you. And then you can exactly. make it fine till next season. Yeah. I found, I found uh, the key, the key to success. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm, I'm sure all you follow LeBron on Instagram. It seems like the wine is working. Yes. <laughs> Sue, thank you so much for being with us. We will be checking back with you during this quarantine. So we'll check in on those hoop drive-bys. I was just going to say, I'll let you know if I find a hoop. <laughs> Thanks for having Thanks. me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.